I just kept my goal in mind. I want to make top 10. I want to make top six. I want to make national team. I know I can do it in, my, in myself. We went into the next day of competition and her leg was even more sore and more swollen. And I was like, all right, we got through one competition. We got through one day. You can do this. And I was feeling ready for day two. I wanted to come back and do even better than I did the first day. I think we started on bars, which bars was fine, but again, once she hits that leg, it just gets bigger. I was trying to see what hurt and what didn't, and every time I'd do a kip on bars, it would swell up really big. And then when I got to beam, it would move a lot, and every time I jumped, it would pull on that ab, and it would pull on my hip. And then after I would do something, it would feel like I couldn't lift up my leg, that it hurt so bad. But I knew that this was my only shot that I had, so I had to push through. So, went to beam, gorgeous beam routine, gorgeous. She missed a foot on her dismount. I kind of missed my foot on the second back handspring and I couldn't get the kind of height I needed to make the two and a half around, so I sat down. And I tell her that, that's it, we're done. And she's like, I'm not done. I have two events left. Do not say I'm done. And I'm like, well, it's going to take a lot of uh, other people making mistakes for you to make this. With two mistakes, I mean, that's two points. We were like, there's just, there's no way. I was a little bit unsure. And then I was thinking, it's not over until everyone's done. It was the first the second time competing the Pike Double Arabian and in warm-ups I couldn't make one at all. No matter, I tried like three times to do it and I could not get to my feet. And so finally before I went, I was thinking, I have to do this. So I go harder than I've ever gone before and I make it and I'm so relieved. And then I'm thinking, oh wait, I have the rest of the routine. So I do the rest of the routine and I'm really excited about it. And for me, I was just telling her, okay, but I also didn't want her to have false expectations because it doesn't happen that way. So really going into the last event, we weren't sure. We thought it's over, it's, it's, it's done. I kept telling them it's not over yet. I, can, I think I can still pull through. But then they're kids, and you look around and you see kids making mistakes. So then we started looking at, at where the results were, and we're like, I don't know, maybe? My mom was actually, she, <laughs> she was out by the bathroom because she wouldn't come out until everybody was done because she was so nervous. I was a nervous wreck, and I just knew how important it was for her to make this team. She was calm, she was cool. She was like, you know what, don't, this is not over. And so she fought all the way to the very end. She ended with a double full on vault. And my leg is really sore by that time. It wasn't probably her best double full, but it was on her feet and. I was so happy and relieved that I had made it through with all that I had gone through. And so then we had to wait and wait and wait. I was sitting on the ground getting my tape off and everything because after I finished competing I just take off my tape and I was sitting on the ground by vault with some of the other girls that I was competing with. Not until the last person went did we know that she made it on that team because that was that close. After the last person on floor went and that was the last person to compete I look up at the scoreboard and I see that I'm in sixth and I literally almost start crying and I'm so happy. I was relieved that she made it. The coaches around me were so supportive. Everybody has seen her struggle and her fight from, from the beginning of camps all the way to the end. And they were so happy for her. You know, sixth really wasn't the place that we wanted to be in, squeak in there, but it's on the team. Because this has been my goal for the longest time. And you said it's been your goal for the longest time. What's it like finally achieving it? It feels like my greatest accomplishment so far. I'm really happy. 
I think when she put on her USA jacket, that was the moment she was like, yep, this is what I've been working for. The award ceremony was the most, one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Just being up there in the national team apparel with the plaque and the flowers and standing up there with just the six girls, it was pretty amazing just to realize that now you represent Team USA. Marta was giving out some of the medals right before uh, All Around and she came up to me and she gave me a hug and she said, you finally made it, congratulations. Hearing that from her was pretty amazing. So I was just extremely happy and excited. Oh, as a mom, I was proud. Just the transformation and the, the work that she had put in just to get to that point was phenomenal. And as a coach, you look at it and you go, that's what you came here to do. And, and the lesson you learned in it, it's not over till it's over. You don't give up till the last, till you are done and you are walking out. So what is this here? This is, I made a photo album of Bimini since I got him. And this is him, I hadn't gotten him yet. He was four weeks old here, or yeah. less. Um, I don't know. He, he, was, like he was three weeks point. old here. Many months before championships, it was if I made national team, I would get a dog. But then as the things came forward and everything, it was more like I was going to get a dog even if I didn't make national team because there is no guarantees and I couldn't like I couldn't choose to go on national team. It would happen to be circumstances. And so I was going to get the dog when he was old enough and I got him and he was this little fluffy ball of white cotton and I've had him for six weeks now, and he has gotten a lot bigger. He likes to do his tricks. When you get food and you say, time for training, he'll run over and go sit on the floor and wait for you to come do tricks and training with him. So I think he really likes that part of it. He's really smart, but he is the best little thing that has ever happened to me. And he is now the new little part of our family. The moment she walked through the gym, they, the girls and the families had done posters all down the wall, which had her picture on, and all the little kids did uh, congratulations and did pictures from championships and classics and just did like a whole montage down the hall, and Sydney was just, she thought that was the greatest. I knew that I would have people there, but I wasn't expecting the posters or anything. So that was really <laughs> happy for me. And it was just really exciting to go in and see that on the first day of coming back to work out, it just gave me some more motivation to come and work more. Do you feel the same thing? Your foot on the, the one hand spring layout, which means your hip is open in, in the layout, is on the side of the beam. Now I have to get back in the gym and now I can work even harder. There really wasn't much time after that. It was get to work, you have a couple days. And she went right into therapy because we had to go see the doctor, make sure her pelvis wasn't cracked, make sure that she was in one piece and able to continue to work out. She knows that she has so much more to prove that she's better than that still. I was doing all of my stretching and conditioning and all of my treatment and everything to keep myself where I needed to be in order to come back strong and how I was when I was at championships. Training has been going good. Um, she's been working her new upgrades and she's really excited about that. She's excited to go back to November camp and show what she's been doing. Um, all the while in the back of her mind knowing, okay, I, I need to do more, I need to do this. Uh, trying to figure out what skills that she really wants to do and sees herself doing, because that's really important. Right now, our focus is on skill upgrades. Um, you can't really be in the running until you have the upgraded process. You have to make yourself valuable for the U.S. team. And doing that is by getting your start values up. So 
that's first and foremost, and then being able to do those skills at that level consistently. So those are, are the focus, and that's the only focus. So did you feel all the corrections that are happening? Yeah. Down here? It's, slow. it's very slow, but it's slow from the run, slow from the round off, you push back in the back handspring, then your takeoff is from here. Okay. It's more than a double-double. You have to stand up, especially when you're tired, you're going harder and you're pounding yourself into the ground. You have to push off so your stand up and your chest is here, going into the full end. Okay? Whatever. I mean, that's how it is. At the end of a hard training week, and you're tired and it's time to compete, that's what we have. So this is where we need to get busy. I've been doing ballet for a little over a year now. Ballet is more graceful and a little bit slower with everything and I do a lot of quick movements and everything so I think that kind of helps me with my other dance to not be so like hard with things it's like graceful but then hard it's very different from gymnastics because you're using different muscles so you just have to get used to it uh, when I do PK turns I like to turn in my knee how we turn on beam and floor, that's how I do it, and then you have to turn out here so it's a lot different. Toe peak point has helped a lot since I've started, even like with the tape I used to be less because I used to say it would restrict my toes from pointing, but now I can figure out how to still point my toes with my tape on, and my flexibility has helped a lot with my leaps and my jumps. My upcoming goals are to make an international assignment this year because I didn't make it last year. I really want to make it this year now that I feel like I have the skills that I can do it. So I'm working on getting that and also I'm trying to get myself to where I can actually vie for the Olympic team. That's my biggest goal and I really hope that I can get there. Sometimes people ask me, like, would it be cool to go to the Olympics like your mom? I think about the Olympics every day. I think about it, I need to be working harder so that I can get there. You know, I really don't know what exactly she thinks about. I know it's on her vision board, and I know that's a goal that she wants. But like I said, I don't want that to be the main focus because maybe there's more, more for her after that. Like I said, it's, it's gonna be hard. We know that, I'm not. I'm not blind to knowing uh, what the odds are to make that, but if you would have asked anyone in 87 if I would have been on the 88 team, their answer would have been no. So a lot of things can happen, uh, injuries, illnesses, changing of goals, um, not really wanting to, to put that much work into what you're doing. So for her, I'm just keeping her focused on one day at a time with the big picture right there so she can see it, but not the main focus of what she's doing. I really hope that I can get what I need to be part of the team to help them. The Olympic year is gonna be gone in the blink of an eye. So really our main focus is telling her every day counts, making each workout productive, making it towards the plan of where our routines wanna build on, and then the rest is, is just going to fall into place. You know, the, light, the depth of USA Gymnastics is incredible. Um, to break into the senior ranks this year is going to be hard enough. So I'm not adding more pressure onto her. I'm not saying that she's not going for the Olympics. You, you go for it, 110%. Because in one year you made so much progress. Imagine what you can do in another. So really that's our philosophy with her and that she has as good a chance as anyone else. So if she really wants to do it, she needs to go for it and go for it 100%.